Hi, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today? How are you doing out there? God's creation? That's right. Whether you believe it or not, you are a part of God's creation. You have to be, right? Because you're here. We did not create ourselves. Did you create the bird that flies in your backyard? How did that bird get here? I didn't make it. Let's find out. Genesis, first chapter, verse 20. Then God said, Let the waters abound with the abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind and God saw that it was good did you know that God's into multiplication math was not one of my favorite subjects in school but God is into multiplication that's how we got here too you see and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. You know what that means? You'll find out. Keep reproducing. Be fruitful and multiply. Multiplication. And fill the waters and the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. That's right. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day I'll stop there because what I want us to think about is God's multiplication of creation be fruitful and multiply that's what we have to pay attention to because if there wasn't if if God didn't set and establish that all of creation not I mean you know us as humans but the birds why we keep seeing of the birds one dies but there's more you know we as humans we have a day when we are not here anymore in this physical form but there are others you see there's generations there's generations after generation after generation because this is what God created it to be that we will be fruitful and multiply and this happens because we are multiplying likeness you see so the bird gives birth to a another bird you know I, I can't imagine the bird uh, producing a cow I know that sounds far out there, but honestly, can anyone out there make a theory scientifically, biologically, that, oh, you know, like um, a bird can say, I, I, I want to decide to give birth to a cougar. <laughs> I thought of a cougar. Uh, I lived in a place that had an abundance of cougars. <laughs> okay? But the cougar keeps reproducing a cougar. It's the cat family. It's the same family. But they keep reproducing cougars. And so on. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. Right. It says, according to their kind. According to their kind. Right. My mother and father, they had me. My, my mother gave a birth to me if my parents are like me they're human beings and your parents um, no non 
human uh, a creature has brought us here because we are not of their kind <laughs> you know it's it's like okay you're not of their kind right you may be a turkey but you cannot think that well no i think i like to you know create a horse well no nah, that's not of your kind not of your kind when i say that i mean us human humankind <laughs> we're all in that category okay and so we keep producing one another and that is the blessing and the gift that god has created in his creation yes god is the giver of life he gives breath breath has or it has been given see it's a gift it is given so you know everyone that is born you know you will have breath you will have breath it's the it's 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 already in the deposit it's 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 it's, it's gonna happen if you're gonna come out breathing you're going to uh, come out a uh, breathing the breath of God we know things do uh, happen sadly where where something can happen in of uh, the womb where that life may not come out in that way yes this happens I don't have all the answers nor uh, do you if anyone out there does then uh, I mean you know yeah I, I'm not going to deceive myself in that way but I can say that for all of us today you're living you're breathing you got your deposit of breath from the Living God but oh parents and from generation to generation reproducing keep reproducing multiplication reproducing of your kind humans humans turkeys turkeys birds birds okay dogs dogs ducks ducks okay 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 uh, cows cows now do they mix um actually I found something out just like you know human beings are mixed so I found out um, there's something called the beefalo uh, I was not I was not so familiar for some of you that may live in some parts of the world uh, of the US that would be known to you a lot more but I I happen to like a buffalo more than a, a the cow in some ways um, because I think that it's healthy it's lean and I so now you know a little more about me I won't I won't keep myself always such a mystery I like Buffalo burgers more than sometimes the hamburger so but I found out they'd have mixed and so then it's called a beefalo <laughs> okay a beefalo so yeah there can be mixing just like you can mix uh, human beings and human beings have been mixed all throughout the generations but still it's of the same kind it's of the same kind and that's something to think about that's interesting within the same family okay so we're all within the same human family whether we are across a mixing we're still of the same kind because we're all in the same human family so no matter what we're going to keep reproducing human beings that's how it works from the beginning of time thank you Jesus thank you for allowing us to not just exist in our human form but that you gave your life that you can come and dwell in our hearts and now the world doesn't doesn't just see our outside creation but they can come in connection with something that's happening on the inside of each of us who were created in the image of God but just remember we'll keep reproducing of our kind we're all in the human family not the bird family not the beefalo family 
That's right. <laughs> We're the human family. And there's enough evidence in all of creation to say that what God said and who he created, you, you look at it every day. I mean, you look at yourself every day. You're God's creation because... You know, we are going to keep reproducing and multiplying of our kind. That's wonderful. This is the gift that God has given humanity. Yes. He got it right the first time, world. There was no mistakes. There's no mistakes in you. There's no there's there's no mistakes how we keep of reproducing life it's been working fine right it's been working fine God's plan of multiplication is perfect thank you for your time today you can subscribe and like and we'll meet again thanks for listening Shalom